Workers unlock the top of the still and pour in chlorine-free deionized water. Once the still is one quarter full, they add the lemongrass. They stack the bundles in a crisscross fashion, creating gaps for steam to pass through. They screw the lid tightly to prevent the loss of steam during distillation. They activate the still and it heats the water to the boiling point. Steam rises through the plants and picks up the oils. It carries the oil vapor up through a pipe and into a condenser, where the vapors cool and return to a liquid form. The liquid oil and water drip out into a flask. Oil and water don't mix, so the oil floats to the top, and the water is drained off and recycled back into the distiller. The technician then collects the lemongrass oil in a bottle, one drop at a time. The lemongrass oil undergoes a second distillation in a laboratory. Using a more sensitive piece of equipment known as a rotary vacuum evaporator, the oil flows into a flask that's spinning in a hot bath of vegetable oil. The evaporator pumps out air and creates a vacuum in the flask, which lowers the boiling point. This prevents damage to the delicate molecules responsible for the lemongrass scent. The oil vapors rise to a condenser coil where they reliquify, leaving any residual water and impurities behind. The pure lemongrass oil drips into a receiver flask. As distilled lemongrass oil is collected, more flows into the evaporator beaker for purification. The distilling process is continuous. The rotary vacuum evaporator processes roughly two to three quarts of fragrant oil per hour. They store the lemongrass oil in a cold room with other essential oils. Like fine wine, it must be kept cool or it could spoil and ruin its bouquet. <laughs>